Most college application essays fit a fairly standard mold. Challenges, formative experiences, obstacles overcome, or justifications of interest. But what if you're asked to write in response to one that is completely outside the normal range? The University of Chicago has a reputation for its unconventional essay prompts. As they explain on their website, students can approach these prompts with utter seriousness, complete fancy, or something in between. The Chicago Admissions Office actually gets some of its prompts from current and newly admitted students. They choose at least one or two out of the hundreds of responses they receive. Take this one, for example, inspired by Peyton Weidenbacher from the class of 2015. Orange is the new black, 50 is the new 30, comedy is the new rock and roll, blank is the new blank. What's in, what's out, and why is it being replaced? This trend of unconventional prompts seems to be catching on. Take a look at these from Tufts University Supplement for the class of 2020, where they ask students to respond to prompts like, what makes you happy? Or, celebrate the role of sports in your life. Here are a few from Lehigh University. My personal favorite? If your name were an acronym, what would it stand for, and how would it reflect your strengths and personality? Your first response to these prompts might be complete confusion. How could these essays possibly relate to getting a degree in political science or biology or English? Why in the world would a respected college or university ask for this kind of essay? The answer is that it doesn't have anything to do with getting a degree in anything. Not exactly. It has to do with showing the admissions officer how you think. Consider the rhetorical situation here. Most top-tier colleges and universities receive an overwhelming number of applications. Last year alone, Tufts received 19,064 applications for a freshman class of just over 1,300 students. What's even more striking is that 74% of those 19,000 applicants were considered to be academically qualified. Admissions officers need some other way for the truly stellar applicants to distinguish themselves. When everyone's numbers are basically on par with one another, essay questions like the ones above highlight the kind of creativity, wit, and insight Tufts wants to see in its incoming class. Okay, so now you understand why a college might ask for this kind of essay. But the more relevant question for you right now is, how do I write the kind of response that proves that I am the creative, witty, insightful student they're looking for? Relax. Now, think about your purpose to help come up with an effective response to this unconventional writing task. Your purpose is still to sell yourself, but now you have to pay even more attention to the expectations of your audience. I can give you a few general pointers on how to plan for these types of essays. The great thing about these prompts is that you can take them in just about any direction you want. If you've participated in speech and debate in high school, you may be familiar with the impromptu speaking category. In impromptu, each round of competition has a theme, like proverbs or Disney movies or acronyms. Each competitor in a round selects a different topic from that theme and has 10 minutes to develop a five-minute speech. I've judged impromptu speaking at our state tournament, and the best speeches I've heard are the ones that address the topic, but then take the speech in a different and often more profound direction. For example, the student who was able to turn The Little Mermaid into a really moving speech on the sorry state of the world's oceans and talk about her work volunteering to clean up the Chesapeake Bay. Eventually, the speaker came back to her original topic by making a passing reference to Ariel, the little mermaid, that she had needed to use as her hook in the introduction. But the body of her speech had been much more significant than just a Disney character. By the end, I felt that I had gotten to know a lot about her and what she believed. This is exactly what you want to try to do in your application essay, whether or not it is one of the off-the-wall prompts or one of the run-of-the-mill ones. But you always need to remember that your purpose is to showcase an aspect of yourself that you believe would be an asset to the college or university. You can look at the exercise files for this chapter for some possible approaches to the five University of Chicago prompts for the class of 2019. Then, 
If you know you'll be applying to a school with a tendency to require essays like this, you'll be a little less caught off guard when you see them on your application.